expensive. But <laughs> that's probably why. Probably the case costs that much. No, I'm just kidding. You know what these are. These are Alpine Star Clubs. These guys are one of the number one top rated companies in automotive race equipment apparel. And picked up some new gloves. These are new driving gloves. So, the intention was to get some new gloves for when we get ready for the S14 to go to track day. Um, the other side intention was that I installed or I got my Fanatec sim racing equipment installed and assembled. I've had a few goes at it. You'll see it in maybe in a f future uh, Fit Alive vlog. What I've noticed is like, especially when you're counter steering or trying to grab the wheel, starting to develop like kind of a calluses and rashes on your fingertips. So, ooh. so these gloves, man. Yep, just throwing money on the ground. Let's see how they fit. Hopefully I got the right size. Just a little segue before we get started back on the S14. So today we're gonna hit the transmission, get it all cleaned up. And then if I got a little bit more time later today, probably hit the clutch or at least get started on the clutch and flywheel swap. I bought a, a white bunny clutch upgrade from Njuka Racing. Uh, I'll get more into it once we get there. Just to explain what, what's, what's up with it. <laughs> so um, that's gonna be interesting once we tackle that. But yeah, let's get started with the transmission and I'll catch you there. Bye. few things to keep in mind before we even clean this transmission. I'm going to cover this up, seal anything, any cavity, any opening entrances that can allow liquid or water to get into the transmission. I want to make sure that there's no oil water mixture happening after we get it done. So we're going to seal this face up and then right here where the rear main seal is for the transmission at least. I think that's what it's called. Okay. So just to double check. Yeah, it looks good. And the bell housing should be okay. Especially if we're just gonna clean it from this way out. All right, let's get to it. set up. I got my cleaner bucket and I put some ammo brute wheel cleaner and also have my spray which I also use ammo. It's the plum wheel cleaner comes in the spray bottle and what we'll do first is we'll pre pre-treat this let it soak in and give it a few minutes after that we'll go ahead and scrub. I have a little wheel brush scrubber but I use this for the interior wheels and also exhaust. So this would be perfect for the transmission. And then I have this right here too for the small little crevices. This should do the trick. And let's give it a shot. Let's see how it looks. So 
McCullough steam cleaner and get into the crevices. Hopefully we can get all the dirty grime out and that should wrap up the transmission cleaning process. So let's get to it. transmission is clean got everything that I need to do on it there's some small spots that are just kind of hard to get to so I just gonna let that go but anyways there's a few sensors here on the transmission that I'm probably gonna go ahead and purchase uh, just to make sure it's all resto place the uh, storage bag on it set it off to the side and we'll get started on the clutch White Bunny clutch upgrade was courtesy of a forum member called S14 Turbo SE and he came up with this configuration that would just bolt onto the K24DE with the White Bunny clutch upgrade which requires clutch assembly from a 1993 D21 pickup. With that clutch assembly that brings it up to about 240 millimeter clutch surface area so you have bigger bigger grab and in theory you should be able to handle more torque. Now Fast forward to 2021, Juca Racing came up with just building out a clutch set, or at least supplying the clutch set from a competition clutch that provides you with the equivalent White Bunny clutch upgrade. The only difference is with this setup, it's actually 250 millimeter clutch surface area for grab. You have your pressure plate, your clutch disc, and your flywheel. And then what's great is it came with the, the bearing set. So throw a bearing. There you go. Uh, bolts, I think I need. We'll roll out the K24D and then start taking off the, the clutch that came with the, the motor that I picked up. Stock clutch pedal feel plus high torque application. So let's get started. <laughs> Here's the white bunny clutch upgrade, and then here's the, uh, the previous clutch setup. So you can already immediately see that it's a smaller diameter than the white bunny setup, which is a good thing. I'm gonna keep pressing forward, and uh, actually I need to take out the uh, pilot bushing. So let's give that pilot bushing a shot. A little quick segue. So I found a really important tool. I always believe in finding the right tools to make your life 100% easier. So this is a blind hole puller set, OEM27128, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, that's the way this works. So this piece right here. So on this end, you're gonna insert it into the pilot bushing inner diameter and then once you screw it in this will open up so here's the pilot bushing and insert it right there 
once you screw it in and it opens up, this lip will hold the back side of the plywood bushing and then you just slide hammer it out. Okay, let me get it set up. Okay, all right, so I think that's a wrap for tonight. So I got everything that I wanted to do today, which was the clutch assembly, the new white bunny clutch upgrade. We got that onto the KA24DE. We cleaned up the transmission. I also got some Nismo engine mounts and transmission mounts to be installed. Um, I'm waiting for the transmission cross member coming from Techno Toy Tuning. That's gonna be for that, for the transmission and also the B&M short shifter. I think we're making good progress. You know, I was pretty happy how this um, install went. Yeah, with the motor out, this was pretty straightforward. So the only challenging part was getting the flywheel bolts off and that was remedied with um, an impact gun. And then the other hard part was reinstalling the flywheel bolts. And what I did with that was I put a breaker bar where the, the front crankshaft bolt is just to lock it in place and just went easy. So that front wouldn't loosen too. <laughs> but that did the trick, got it all torqued down to spec. The last part was just the clutch bolts. They were just the hex key type of bolts. That was pretty easy. Once again, I'm Mike at Fit Alive. Thanks for watching. If you haven't, please like, comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the new followers and subscribers and appreciate all the support as and i will see you next time see ya good night bye bye johnny